Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, broadcasting live from Tulum, Mexico. And uh, today's topic, we are going to talk about actually the upcoming free online, the seven day uh, global workshop that I'm going to be retreat actually, I'm going to be offering is Rebirth A New You. And we're going to be talking about that. I'm going to explain to you why I'm going to offer it. How is that going to apply to you? And how is that work and sits with the fact of teaching silence and coming from an Advaita Vedanta perspective? Uh, how do they blend in with each other? So we'll talk about all of that. For the moment, let's just do a fun meditation. We haven't, every once in a while, I used to do a lot of active meditations. I haven't done any active meditations. And I feel like it's time to do an energetic active meditation and um, move the body. So I'm just gonna ask you to stand up. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shake our bodies and we're gonna make noises. So since there's a lot of stuff happening in the world right now, there's a lot of blah, blah, blah. There's just an accumulation of a lot of information, fear, worry, anxiety, confusion, what's going to happen and all of that jazz, which is valid and which is in the air right now. We don't want to deny what's going on. So let's shake these things out of, out of us. So by that, we're going to be shaking and moving and uh, releasing some energy. So we stop. Shake it and make noise and shake your body. How about you get just an Amazon and I'm not whether that's just your show with my hand when you get how I get just show and you get an Amazon and I'm not gonna get what you got such a tough shot with other shit over the other get it done. How I want to know how you guys is trying to put the Shabbat at the pocket to catch you to do what you know what I get Take a deep breath. Dive in the center of yourself. Ooh. Breathe deeply. Stay focused, bring your attention in the center of yourself and here and now in this moment. And know that all is well. And I want you to put your hands on your heart and repeat after me. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. Right. So one more time, we're going to be shaking and making noises. Take a deep breath. Sink back. Just come to your own center. 
Dive inside yourself. Repeat after me. I love myself. I love myself. I love everybody. I forgive myself. I forgive everybody because I'm love, because I'm light, because I'm God. That's why I love myself. And I forgive myself. Now we're going to raise our hands to the sky and we're going to do this other meditation. It starts, we begin with Yahoo and then we move to Hoo. So we start, here we go. So again, just raise your, your hands to the sky. Keep your attention either on your third eye or on your heart. So you're centered and we're going to jump up and down. We start with Yahoo and we move to Hoo Hoo. center and in this moment put your story away whatever is your story put your story away that you're not good enough or blah 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 and repeat after me I love myself I love myself I love everybody. I forgive myself. I forgive everybody because I'm love, because I'm light, because I'm God. That's why I love myself and I forgive myself. Take a deep breath, come back into the center of yourself, keep your attention inwards in one pointedness within yourself. So you're very still. You don't have to force to stop your thoughts. You're just here in the heart, in your own being. And one more time, we're going to raise our hands up and we're going to do the same thing. And just feel your presence, feel your own being right now. Feel this energy field that is being created around you. 
this powerful being which exists here surrounding you it's your own self it's your own light it is the divine being it is god the living spirit that lives inside you and feel that and repeat after me one more time without any judgment i love myself i love myself i love everybody i forgive myself i forgive everybody because i'm love because i'm light because i'm god that's why i love myself and i forgive myself i say yes to love yes to love yet 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 just kind of stay in silence stay in this space that you're at how are we doing with the headroom i'm here and just come back to this place hang out here in the space here hanging out in the place that you're at without trying without really any kind of struggle to of meditating or pushing anything to go anywhere simply you're exercise exercising your natural state and what is your natural state is to be what do you have to do to be here right now nothing if you try to do something or be somewhere else then it's an effort but to be here does not require any effort you're simply here you're sitting here in front of your computer or your phone and you're watching me or listening to me and you're hanging out together effortlessly in this moment here and when you are here the magic of here reveals itself to you it will show you something that's the magic of life that appears to you when you're here it's very difficult to be here these days because our minds are being conditioned to constantly being distracted to be on our phones or worry or think about the past or future so here is a difficult place to be for many people but the magic is here all life happens here not in the future So let's hang out together here and see what here has for us. What happens when you're here? When your attention is focused. And if you have a hard time meditating, what you can do is turn your attention inwards. Look inside. at where are your thoughts coming from where do your thoughts come from follow the stream of your thoughts inwards and see what happens
Simply follow the stream of your thoughts inwards. And see what happens. You discover silence. Everything becomes quiet. without any effort, without trying to get anywhere, without any struggle, very easy, very simple. Practice your natural state. It's not trying to manifest anything. You're not trying to create anything. You're actually not doing anything. It's in the lack of trying, no intention, even intention is for the future, which comes from the past. You're simply exercising your, your natural right. And that is being, being here and now, completely uninterested into future. What am I gonna be like? What's gonna happen? Stay uninterested. Just stay here. If you do not master here, you would never get anywhere anyway. You would waste a lifetime of running around doing things which doesn't get you anywhere because you don't know how to be here. So let's learn how to be here. And then everything else comes to you. Even if it's in a moment, if, in, if you can just for one moment, relax for five seconds, take a deep breath and hang out with yourself here. Even if it's that short, it's still okay. Allow the magic to touch you. The magic of life. Let Her Majesty, the Supreme Soul, the love, the love of God, consciousness, Yahweh, Krishna, Moses, Christ, the Buddha, the Allah, the presence, allow the spirit to touch you, to kiss your lips, to dance with you. Just allow.
That's all you have to do, allow. Now, slowly, slowly divert your attention to, from the inner world to the utter world. So you're shifting your attention. When we do this practice on regular basis, which we call it meditation, and I have explained this before uh, in um, previous academy sessions that meditation does not have a look. And meditation really is not something you do. So I just want to make sure I correct myself because meditation is not an action. Meditation is a natural state that happens naturally on its own accord. And that happens to each and every one on this planet. Sometimes a few times a day, maybe it happens. So it doesn't have a look. But for the simplicity of the matter, we're calling it meditation. Okay, now I'm not going to get into that today because I want to talk about something else. But when you get used to learning how to bring your attention from focusing on the other world, including the world of your thoughts, including your emotions that come and go, or your body, when you learn to divert your attention to one pointedness, one point within, within yourself. And that point is behind the thoughts. It's beyond the thoughts. And it's called the witness. It's the observer. It's that which is observing everything that which is aware of everything. And you learn to bring your attention and bring your attention to that part of you. Immediately your mind goes into silence and inner peace takes over. Silence takes over, love takes over and you get connected to this field, this fifth dimensional field of awareness, which you have access to all the information that has ever been said, done. Everything becomes available to you. Your thinking mind may not understand it. Your analytical mind may not be able to get it, but your heart will understand because you tap into the magic of life. You go beyond intellectual understanding into knowing. Like a woman who is pregnant, she is six months pregnant, she doesn't need to read books, she doesn't need anybody to tell her she's pregnant, she knows she's pregnant. That's a knowing. That's not intellectual understanding. That's something very obvious. And when we become quiet and we shift our attention inwards towards the source of who we are, which does not require any kind of action, Okay, let me repeat this part. This part, you're not, this understanding of coming into a deeper level of consciousness does not require action. And it's like, what do you mean? It's beyond action. 
it requires attention. You have to pay attention. That's why the system constantly destroys your attention. So you can't focus. You're going crazy, thinking about a million different things, wanting to be in a million different places all the time. Because you find here very boring and dull. You find it dull. It's been planted as a seed in your mind that here is boring and dull. On the contrary, the magic is here. The real magic of life is here. And he who has recognized that has come to the wisdom. So recognition. Here is where you are born again. Here is where you can reinvent yourself. All of it happens from here. But it takes a wise man to learn to be here. Most people on the planet, they have a very hard time being here. Therefore, they suffer. Suffering happens to those who can't be here and recognize the beauty and the magic of this moment. It's this moment is vast. It's infinite. It's going through infinity. This moment is beyond the mind understanding because the mind cannot understand it. The mind wants to box it into a little place so it can make a definition of it. So it can make a color out of it. It can explain it and manipulate it specifically manipulated so it benefits you. The mind wants to do that. How am I going to use this? How am I going to use spirituality like the pseudo-spirituality which is being taught today? False teachings being taught today around the world teaching people how to manifest things, how to use the power of intention, how to visualize, how to use words. It's all a system of manipulation. It's false spirituality. It's not truth. Because what it does is activate your mind that heaven, kingdom of heaven, happiness is in a future moment outside of here. But come to me, my friend, and I teach you how you can organize your mind, how you can think positively, how you can use your power of mind to get what you want to manipulate that man that is your soulmate to come to you, to manipulate that situation that life gives you money, to manipulate people to do what you want them to do. Come to me. Let me teach you how you use your mind, how you can organize your thoughts by visualizing, visualization, Verbalization, having intention. We make this intention holy. We're going to set our intention to save the world and have a better world. But first, I want to get what I want. Do you realize where you're going? 
how you're falling into this abyss that is never going to take you anywhere. And look what has happened. This mind, this ill mind, sick mind, look what it's created. This pandemic with all the stories of it is a manifestation of an ill mind. It's a sick mind that has created it. And now existence has to create this situation, whatever it is, to wake us up. Not to wake up that there's outside powers that Illuminati or powers that they want to take over humanity. That's not the main thing. It appears to be that way. No. The main part of it is the self-realization of coming back, return, and rebirth. This is all about being born again. Do you want to be born to who you think you are? Do you want to be born into this miserable thing who's always needy, who's always afraid of everything? I mean, we've played this game for thousands of years. How many times do we want to play this game again? Aren't you sick of it? Where did you get? I mean, where are you now in your life? Where am I? Thirty years ago, forty years ago, did you think your life is going to be like this? Is this what you envision your life to be? Honestly, did you think you're going to be here? Is this your idea of manifesting your life? You're happy with your body? Are you happy with your looks? Are you happy with your past? Are you happy with your love relationships? Are you happy with your children? Are you happy with your environment? Are you getting what you want? Is this the life 40, 50, 60 years ago when you were 15 years old, eight years old, nine years old, 18 years old, when you were excited and you were going to school and did you envision this? Is this what you want to be and have? If this is it, then keep going and doing what you're doing. I don't know. I don't know if you're happy or you're not happy. Okay? So I'm not insulting anybody. Don't take me wrong. I'm just being straightforward because you know on this platform, I'm not the kind of a teacher who does fool around. You know I'm very straightforward. I even make fun of myself. I don't dilly-dally with stuff. That's not the way I am. And I'm not going to tell you things you would like to hear because you like me or you don't like me. Because you know I don't give a shit. I'm very straightforward. And I'm happy you're here. And I love you. Because I love myself. But I have to be honest with you. Is this what you wanted? So something is not really there. Something's off. So what is, what is it that's off? And where do we make the change? Not out there. The change is not like, I don't like my government. I don't like the mayor. I don't like my husband. I don't like my kids. I don't like the city I live in. That's not where you make the change. You have to make the change first and foremost within yourself. That's where change comes from. And to change yourself, you have to, A, bring awareness to the business, bring awareness here. You have to have awareness. 
A lot of people say, I want to change, but they just say it. It's bullshit. They're blah, blah, blind. Maybe they act a little bit like they're changing. Okay, now they're going to a couple of yoga classes and now they have become vegetarian or vegan and they change their clothes and they go to Bali once a year or go to India and they, uh, they have a guru. But they're not looking at themselves. Then it's bullshit. It's the appearance of change. Look at me, look at me, I look so spiritual. I live in spiritual places. I lived in Sedona. I, li I live in Tulum. And for years I lived in India and years and years I've been teaching. I can smell shit in one second. People who are full of shit, spiritual shit, I can smell it very quickly. So you can't fool me, believe me, because my nose is very strong. I pick it up really immediately. Change is the awareness needs to come and you have to be willing to look at yourself. A, and that's scary because when you look at yourself, you also have to Acknowledge your dark side because you have dark in you. But no, 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 no. I don't have any dark in me. It's only Adolf Hitler who has dark. Hitler has dark. Donald Trump has dark. Biden has dark. Blah, blah, blah has dark. Mm, no, 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 no. I don't have dark. No. You have to look at yourself. You have to look at your light because you do have beauty in you and you have to look at your dark, both. And then after, if you dare to look, that takes a lot of bullocks. It takes balls, you know? It takes courage to look at your own shit because it's scary. And once you look at it, and if you're courageous, and you're still on the path, then you have to admit it. Acknowledge your dark side. Acknowledge it. It's here. Then, from there, now we're talking. So you are looking at your light and you're looking at your own dark and you're not projecting it on other people. You're not projecting it on your children, your father, your mom, your wife, the, the, the dad who used to beat you up, the husband that was abusing you. You, you go beyond that. And you're not projecting it. And you're acknowledging this. And then you give yourself a chance to rise above it. To rise above it. You cannot destroy your own dark. Because you're made out of dark and light. Without the dark, your light doesn't show. but you have to rise. You learn how to rise above it. That's a different story. That ha comes from being honest, willingness to look first with yourself, learning how to be quiet, paying attention, and then in here and now, you begin to rise. Your vibration starts to rise to a higher frequency. You start, your vibration changes because you're not full of shit. You're just being straightforward and honest.
And you're not blaming yourself. You're not beating yourself up. You've seen the dark part and you're acknowledging it. We're not talking about self-blame. Because there's nobody that I know in this life that doesn't have their dark side. I haven't met one yet. I don't know what other people's dark side is, but I know my own dark side. And there is dark there. So you rise above it. Your vibration starts to increase to a higher frequency. As you're rising. And what happens is through being honest, through being open, through being available, through also asking existence to help you because it's powerful work. And a lot of times we need help. Everybody needs help. Help from the higher consciousness, help from angels, the powers that help you elevate. It's there, it's always there, whether it's in a form of a teacher, a guru, guide. You start to rise and you're rising, you're changing. Your willingness. As your vibration changing, you begin to go through this process of metamorphosis, the rebirth. It's like, sometimes it's like, we're going through this thing. Some days you may not even want to get out of the bed because it's like these things are like ripping you apart because you did go into the dark and acknowledge it. And the light, you're not hiding, you're looking, you're looking, you're there. Looking. And the metamorphosis starts to take place. And it gives birth. It gives birth to the new you. You have gone through this process before. This is nothing new. It's not like you've never done it before. A lot of you maybe never knew what was happening. You may have thought that there was something wrong with you. But that's not it. But now, at this point, it's a different story, my friend. This is not the old, same old, same old. This time is really, you're meeting the destiny. You're coming head to head with it. There's not much room to fool around. It's like it's crashing into each other. It's like, this is it, you know? This is it, no room to mess around. It's in your face. It's not in another country. It's not, this thing is not happening in some Arab country or South American country or some African country that is so far away. You don't know the culture. You don't know the way they work. And there's a local conflict happening between two countries that you haven't heard their names. This time, 
it's happening to you in your own country, in your own land, in your own neighborhood. It's in your face. There's no way out. Here we are. Hello. Are you with me? This is it. What do you want to do with it now? Do you want to go for it or you want to fool around? Do you want to wait for another entity comes from somewhere else or another civilization to come or blah, 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 blah? Or you just going to do it? You're going to face it. You're going to go for it. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Do you want to change? Do you want to be reborn? Are you ready to move into a higher level of consciousness? Or it's all blah, blah, blah. Because this is the moment of the truth. Truth. This is it. What's your old you is going to have to die, and it is dying, for the new one to be born. This is where the worm, the caterpillar, is about to turn into the butterfly. That's what is happening right now. I didn't do it. This is what's going on. This is what I see. It's not my doing, but it's happening. But I, what I, all I can do is I can share with you what I found and how you can dive into it. That's all. And show you the way out, but you have to do it. And a part of doing it is you got to let go. You have to look, acknowledge, see all the stuff, all the shit, all the things you're hanging on to and willing to mentally, emotionally let, let it change. It's going to change. And hopefully let it go and embrace what is coming. Embrace who you're going to be. Because who, what's being born, even though it's in the verge of it, and it's frightening, and it's confusing, and it's like, ah, strong, you know? But if you learn how to be still and not fool around about being still, yeah. still, ah, oh. stillness, totally still in the middle of everything. And things are being ripped off of you. And you're just there. You're losing everything. Everything's leaving. Everything's going. Everyone's leaving you. Your kids leaving you. You're losing your youth. You're losing your hair. You're losing this. You're losing that. Everything's being burned. And you're just like, ah, oh, ninja master. You're not shaking. You're staying still. That I can help you with. Hey. Hi, nice to see you, honey. <laughs> yeah, nice to connect. Oh, I just want to say, I don't, it's not a question. Okay. I just want to say thank you so much for all this beautiful, yeah, words but it's not words i feel like it just it's just really reaching my heart 
I want to thank you for that. Yes. And it's deep and uh, I take it in and I'm here and I try to stay present and stay here. And then you say some more and then I, uh, I recognize or I want to run a little bit away and I come back and I want to, yes, and I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, my dear sister. I'm very happy you're here with us. I'm very happy you're getting it. And I know it's scary. It's yeah. frightening. It's scary. It's real. With all of all these stories happening. You have to be able to stay still and be willing to burn. Staying in stillness is like in the I am, you're firmly established in the I am, and you want to hang out in that place and that community with that message and deny everything else, completely denying everything else except I am, and be willing for anything that is going to, is burnable, is going to burn, burn. Anything is going to be perished, be perished. Anything can be taken away, be taken away. And stay there to see what is real. And this is the time that's happening. And this fear, illusion. Yeah. And yeah. Sit in old programming and it comes up all the time and especially when I when I feel my my inner truth I feel like this is my truth this is what is true for me and I want to dare to express it or be it in the world but then uh, if I don't for instance wear a mask because it's my truth not to Oh, the fear and uh, oh. <laughs> and it just, I know that I just have to come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. I, I find it sometimes really, really challenging. Yeah, at times it's very, very challenging. I agree. That's why you come back home here to be reminded. That's why we went and sat with Master Punjaji. That's why Papaji always said, seek the company of wise. Seek the company of wise, because everybody else is in samsara. Everybody else is lost. Everybody else is in the world of delusion. They believe the world is real. Everything is come. Crumbling, everything is being just falling apart. So in that, what is it that doesn't change? Bringing the attention to that part, that which does not change. And that's I am. That which is always here the witness, the watcher. Mm. And be willing to let go of everything else. For those of us who eons ago said, God, you're the one I want. I want you. I don't want anything else. You're the most important thing I want. I want to become one with you. Okay. Hallelujah. Show me what you got, baby. This is the time. Let's see how much you really meant it. And yeah, it's scary. 
But what can happen to you? Let me ask you this question. What can happen to me? No matter what, what can happen to me at the end of the day? What can anyone do to me? Pandemic, governments, forces, Illuminati, the dark side. What could they do to me? Yes, King. I am remains I am. When you're firmly established in the truth of who you are, what could happen to you? Nothing. Because the truth of who you are is beyond everything else. The power of silence, the power of the one who still is beyond any other force in universe. You have arisen beyond all forces by melting and diving into the power of the one, the recognition of that which is within yourself at every moment by stilling your mind. Your mind becomes still because everything else is production of the world of the mind. It's the maya. It's illusion. And that's where you are reborn. Those who remain into it and stay in it, and they're willing to go through the process of the metamorphosis, as frightening as it is, but they stay with it. And they're being born into the brand new youth, the birth of the Superman. In the book, Thus Spake Zarathustra by Friedrich Nietzsche, Also Sprach Zarathustra, where Zarathustra comes from the mountains after he got enlightened and says, God is dead. God is dead and talks about the birth of the Superman. And this is what's happening right now. The God he was talking about is symbolic, you know, the, the idols, the false gods. And this is the birth of the Superman. Woman. Woman, Superman, Superwoman. That's why it's really important that you learn how to be here, how to come back into your natural state where birth, rebirthing is happening all the time because you're constantly dying into the old and the new is being born from here. The new universe is being born. So you've learned how to be still. Stillness, not activating the mind. It's time to deactivate it. It's time to dive into silence. The time has come. Otherwise, it will drive you crazy. 
all these news, all this blah, 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 all the stories, it's endless. Endless. It takes you in such dark places when you're listening to it. But when you come back into the center of yourself, here and now, right now, tell me, in this moment, here, together, how do you feel right now? Are you worried? Is there fear? No. Is there confusion? Is there an Armageddon? Is the world going to end when you're sitting here at the presence? At the presence of the silence? What's here? Are you feeling Susanna? Kamala, I'm just going to mute you for a moment. How do you feel right now? I feel good. I feel good every day, but it's the noise. I just got... But right now. But right now. But now I feel... Right. Okay. Is there anything happening right now? No, I don't thinking. So, no. Right. So, you're back into your center. Yeah. Yeah. You're back in this place that the knowing is all as well is here. All of a sudden, all is well. Yeah? Yeah. 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 All of this other stuff is the story. But look what is happening in everyday life. You just slide back to this slowly. I well, mean, but, but I, well, even though yeah. I have all this knowledge, I got cut again. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. We're no, I'm not blaming you. No, I don't either. <laughs> That's why I come after you and fish you out and bring you back. <laughs> I really need that. You're swimming, 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 going far away, far away. Before you get caught into the big waves, we'll bring you back. Come back. It's really good grounding to be with you every week. And I also have to thank you for that. And yeah. thank you that you are here every week for us. Seriously. And I thank you that you're here every week. <laughs> it's both ways, believe me. It, it's both ways. It brings a lot of joy in my, to my heart. <laughs> yeah, like everybody else in life, sometimes you doubt things. Like, what the hell am I doing this for? <laughs> the moments that Doubt always comes, but then you come back into the space of the heart and you realize you're on the right path. I don't know if you're all aware that I'm doing a offering a seven day free online retreat about rebirth a new you. And that's going to start next weekend on the 24th of April. So it's seven days. We're going to be doing it from 24th to the 30th of April. And we're doing it through the Zoom. I'm not broadcasting it. 
I'm, oh yeah, I'm broadcasting it on Facebook, right? But I can't answer questions. So anyway, uh, it's gonna be two hours a day, same time as right from 12 to, to two, Tulum time, which is gonna be Scandinavian time is gonna be from 19 to 21. Seven days in a row, we're going to be together. And I'm very excited. Because the last one I had was in July. And I haven't had one since then. And uh, we all got into the groove. I've been wanting to do this since January. But it just didn't happen because of circumstances. But all is well. And everything's exactly where it needs to be. Everything was perfect. Now, this is what's happening. So, you may be getting multiple emails or text messages from me. Uh, please don't get annoyed. And if you want to, you know, I don't bombard my people with emails and, and text messages unless it's something important. So, and if you would like to share it with your friends, family, anybody who wants to join us, they're welcome to. So I would appreciate if you spread the word. We will have our next academy next week. So, but not during the uh, retreat. So we'll have next Wednesday is our next academy. So from the 24th to the 30th is going to be the a uh, free retreat about rebirth a new you and i'm going to be talking about that like what we talked about it today we talked a little bit of it we didn't get very deep into it and i'm going to help you and clear things of what is going on and how you can cope with it and and what is it we need to do how prepare ourselves for rebirthing Followed by, after that, I have a shamanic healing event, a two-hour shamanic healing event, and that's going to be in May. And then I have a four-day retreat, which is called How to Reinvent Yourself. And that's what I've been doing. I've been reinventing myself. I've done it a few times, reinventing myself. And this is, this is, third or fourth time that I'm reinventing myself. And reinventing could be inner and other. So this time it's been both for me, inner and other. From changing the body, from changing the diet, from changing environment um, to way of being, of going to bed early, getting up, I've been changing a lot of things. I wouldn't be able to teach it unless I do it myself. So, and I'm going to, and we're going to get into that. That's going to be very fun. It's fun to reinvent yourself. And you can do it because people are set and they think, oh, I'm a mom. I'm, I'm a housewife, I'm, I'm a nurse, I'm, I'm a truck driver. No, you can become someone else. Everything can change. You don't have to fall into this role and be this person all the time. You can change and become a new person and be some, become someone else. So... I never accepted and took the role of age, that certain age, I'm going to have to look certain way, or I'm going to behave certain way, or I have to do what everybody else in my clan did. You know, they all got married or had kids and bought homes or stayed in one place, and, and I never... It was never my thing. I'm not saying anything's wrong with it. I just did a, I just refused to do what everybody else did. And I still refuse to do what everybody else does. So 
It's like I have family friends saying, why are you moving to another country? I mean, aren't you too old to do that and learn a new language? I said, no, I'm not too old. I'm not old to move to another country. I'm not old to learn a new language. I'm not old to body build and build my body the way I want it. I'm not old to learn a new sport. I'm not old da 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 da. This is, I refuse. I want to learn all the way to the end of my life. I never want to stop learning, never, or trying new things, never. Because that's what life is. It's in the moment and every moment is fresh. So I'm going to be an example of that. All the way to the end of my life, I'm going to learn new things and I'm always going to change. Whether my hair changes or my body changes, maybe I put green in my head and dye my hair green or whatever. It's like, it's never going to end never going to be one thing. Somebody sends a message. Let's see what it is. I have to go to another meeting. Okay. All right, my dear. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. We'll see you next week. So this thing, I'm too old for this and that. It's all in your mind. It's all in your head. It's your spirit. And if you cherish your spirit, if you acknowledge the youth within yourself, youthfulness, and not willing to fall into this thing that other people projecting on you of how you should look like, how you should be, not fall into it. And do your thing, no matter what. You do your thing, whatever makes you happy. If it's good to you, it's good for you, whatever that is. I don't care what people say. I really don't care what people say or what they think. <laughs> Very well. So another announcement is this is going to be the last season I'm going to offer the life training program. That is my uh, the one-on-one -on -one program that I designed. It's a VIP program tailor-made for those who want to work on themselves. And uh, it's a three-month program that I would design the program specifically to your needs. And we meet once a week and um, for one and a half hours. And the goal is to help you reach your spiritual um, purposes and goals. Um, as things always change with me, um, there was a time people I was going to a lot of places in Norway and I started hearing whispers that, oh, he's always coming back. I'm not going to take this course with him now and I'm going to wait. So then I stopped going to a lot of places in Norway except going to Hammar. Then it was the fifth dimensional quantum healing training program that I was teaching. And then I started hearing uh, whispers that, oh, he's teaching it all the time. Well, I stopped teaching that too. I have not had any energy for teaching my healing training programs. So I haven't done it for almost three years. Why? Because I have a parking. Oh. With the live training program, uh, it's the same thing. Um, this is the last season I'm going to be offering it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing it again or not. Uh, 
I have to be excited about what I teach. If I'm not excited, then I lose my juice. And so I would be doing something else. So I'm just putting it out for those of you who are still interested. If you want to jump into it, this is the last season I'm offering. it. Our next meeting is going to be next Wednesday. Uh, those of you who are here on Zoom, you're going to get a copy of this broadcast. It will be emailed to you. Um, my website is zaratuska.tv. Uh, our social media pages are zaratuska5d. And my email address is info at zaratuska.tv. If you have any questions or want to communicate with me, uh, if you have a subject that you want me to talk about, you're welcome to uh, email it to me. I guess we, I talked about everything that there was to talk about. I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. Unless somebody has a question. No. Okay. Nice having you, sending you lots of love <laughs> and look forward to seeing you next week. God bless you. Namaste.